Jeff, right. we have Jeff Russo, yes? Yes. On the phone? Jeff, Jeff how are you doing, man? Hey, uh, we're doing great. How, how are you guys doing today? We're doing good. We, we, we're going to well, give it's you... Victory Monday here in Denver, Jeff. Oh. So, uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're uh, giving you a little fist pump, all right? Yeah, we're, yeah. Well, I'll tell you, that's a huge topic here in Western New York. I uh, was there at the game yesterday, made the trip on back, and just yeah. to see the way social media sort of jumped all over, you know, such a in some ways, insignificant thing in the grand scheme of the game yesterday. It was It's pretty wild how that's taken off, but it's definitely a topic here in Western New York for sure. Do you, well, do you think that the sports fans there, do they really think that that could, could have been the case, or is it just kind of sour grapes? No, I think it's well, I think, I think it's more sour grapes. I yeah. think when you look in the grand scheme of things and how big of a game that was for the Bills yesterday, um, really a big stage, obviously, there in Denver against Peyton Manning, really needing a perfect game to have it all work out for you, and a game you obviously needed to stay in the playoff hunt and, uh, obviously, the offense didn't come to play uh, in the first half, and then the, all the penalties, 11 for 98. It was just a, a tough day, undisciplined day for the Bills, and it just didn't go their way. So, of course, fans are looking for, uh, for uh, you know, some things to point at. And, I, you know, I don't know about that. Obviously, um, it looked insignificant to me, but um, obviously fans want to point to it because there were some controversial calls in that game yesterday. Yeah, right. yeah. Well, All right, Jeff, look, um, the last couple of years, if you stop Peyton Manning, uh, you would think you would beat the Broncos. And you just look at Peyton Manning's numbers from yesterday. 14 of 20, 173 yards, oh my, yeah. no touchdown passes, zero. Uh, two a picks. rating of, yeah, two picks, a rating of 56.9. In the past, you would say, if those are Peyton Manning's numbers after the game, we, got we won the game. Yeah. We beat the Broncos. But it's not that way this year when you look at what they've decided to do now here late in the season. Well, you know, you would think for the Bills heading in, obviously the prime focus was slowing down Peyton Manning. He had had some hiccups along the way in previous games, but yesterday, you're right. I mean, to pick him off a couple of times, to hold him without a touchdown, I think for the first time, what, 52 games? Um, you know, you would think it would be mission accomplished for the defense, but the problem was is Kyle Orton and the offense for the Bills yesterday just wasn't able to keep pace in the first half. Orton, 355 yards passing, I think, but the two crucial interceptions that he threw, including the one inside the red zone, which would, you know, really came back to hurt him. Right. Um, but, you know, you had the running game going as expected yesterday. C.J. Anderson with the three touchdowns. Thomas had a couple big runs. Um, but you would think, you know, you can slow down Peyton Manning, uh, especially with the way the Bills defense played for most of the day yesterday, you think you'd have a pretty good shot. And the, the offense for the Bills just couldn't keep pace. But get that, you know, give the Denver defense, obviously, a lot of credit. They're, they're ranked where they are for a reason. And then they showed it at times despite some, you know, some problems in the second half. And, and the, you know, the Bills defense, nothing to sneeze at, yet they didn't get a hand on Peyton yesterday. No sacks at all. Yeah, that was surprising. You know, the front four had been, you know, really, uh, obviously, uh, very, very well versed in getting to the quarterback, you know, top ten in terms of sacks. And uh, that front four, not able to really get pressure on it, but give the offensive line a lot of credit and give Peyton Manning a lot of credit getting rid of the ball. And they didn't pass the ball all that much yesterday for the Broncos. But, um, you, you know, the Bills come back after a, after a loss in a game they needed, just trying to hang in there for the last three games. Yeah. And the, you, you look at the Bills – Jeff, and you see, uh, you know, Sammy Watkins. The kid's going to be a superstar uh, in the NFL. Uh, do you need a franchise quarterback in Buffalo to, to make it happen? I mean, Kyle Orton, okay, whatever. You know, you, you need a quarterback in this league, don't you? Is that, what you, is that the main thing that you're missing in Buffalo? Yeah, that's where it starts, obviously, and the Bills have been looking for it for a long, long time, even back to the Jim Kelly days. You know, they had Drew Bledsoe in here for a stint. They go, you know, the amount of quarterbacks they've had, they obviously spent – you know, high pick on E.J. Manuel a couple of years ago, only to sit him down four weeks into the season this year after saying they were all in on E.J. in the offseason, investing, as you said, in a Sammy Watkins to try and bolster this offense. They bring in Kyle Orton, sort of a veteran, I guess, steadying hand in some ways, but the offense has not looked good over the last, you know, three, four weeks. Um, actually, Watkins yesterday, that was his best game in, in several weeks. The, you know, the question at quarterback under center has been a big one for the Buffalo Bills and will remain, you know, remain one until they can find that number one guy. I mean, Orton has shown flashes, has not been consistent enough to lead this team with the defense as dominant as it has been this year. The Bills were thinking big things, and that, you know, the biggest question still under center, as you guys mentioned. Yeah, and I saw the, the coach was asked about that. How would you rate Orton's performance? And he said, well, it's the same situation. No matter what it is, at the end of the day, we weren't good enough to win that's how I rate it. So he kind of said something yeah. without saying something. All right, yeah, Jeff. That's exact, yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> yeah. Well, Jeff, thanks so much for joining us from Buffalo today, man. Have a good one. Thanks for getting up early. No and uh, if, no you wouldn't problem, mind, if you wouldn't mind beating the Patriots uh, yeah. for us down the road to <laughs> help you? us get that one seed, that would be great. 
Well, the Bills have never <laughs> won at Gillette Stadium, so they'll try their best, I'm sure. All right, okay. Jeff. Thanks so much, man. Have Thank a good you, day. See ya.